Samsung is making moves with the One UI 7.0 update, and it's finally rolling out to the Galaxy Quantum 5 in South Korea. This update is based on Android 15 and brings One UI 7 to this exclusive device, which is a version of the Galaxy A55 specifically launched for South Korea. It was originally released last year on SK Telecom's network. The update, which carries the firmware version of 556 SKSSU 4 BYD9, is the first major software update for the Galaxy Quantum 5 since its launch, and it likely includes the April 2025 security patch. So, if you're living in South Korea and you own a Galaxy Quantum 5, you can go ahead and check for this update right now by heading over to Settings Greater Than Software Update Greater Than Download and Install. Now that the update has dropped for the Galaxy Quantum 5, we could see it rolling out for the Galaxy A55 soon. In fact, the update could be arriving as early as next week, but as always, the rollout depends on your carrier, region, and country. For those who are unfamiliar, the Galaxy Quantum 5 shares the same design and hardware specs as the Galaxy A55, but with a unique twist. It features an additional security chip called the S2 Key 000. This quantum random number generator QRNG chip, designed by SK Telecom, works in tandem with Samsung Knox to provide extra security for sensitive apps like banking. So, if you're in South Korea and own the Galaxy Quantum 5, make sure to check for the One UI 7.0 update and enjoy all the new features. As for the rest of us, you might see similar updates rolling out to other devices soon. Let me know in the comments if you're excited about the update or if you're rocking a Galaxy device in South Korea. Today, we're talking about One UI 7, which has been rolling out since April 2025. The update comes with some cool new features like a sleek interface, smoother animations, and some powerful Galaxy Eye tools. But there's a catch. Battery drain issues are becoming a big concern for users, especially those with the Galaxy S24, S25, and foldables. Many users have reported excessive battery loss after updating, and while Samsung hasn't officially acknowledged the issue yet, it seems they might be collecting user feedback through their community forums. A fix is expected in the May 2025 update, so we might get some relief soon. But in the meantime, let's go over some practical tips you can try to boost your Galaxy's battery life. These tips are especially useful for the S25 series, but they should work for the S24 and Samsung foldables as well. Here's how you can combat the battery drain caused by One UI 7's new features. 1. Turn on adaptive battery protection. One UI 7 has a feature called Adaptive Battery Protection that pauses charging at 80% during sleep and resumes later. This reduces power strain and background use. To enable it, go to Settings, Battery, Battery Protection, Adaptive Mode. 2. Use Power Saving Mode. If you want to limit battery drain, turn on Power Saving Mode. It reduces CPU speed and brightness, while still allowing you to use Wi-Fi or 5G to activate. Go to Settings, Battery, Power Saving Mode. 3. Switch to Light Performance Profile. The S25 series comes with a light performance profile that reduces CPU and GPU load, saving power, especially with all the vibrant visuals in One UI 7. To set it, go to Settings, Device Care, Performance Profile, Light. 4. Enable Dark Mode. If you're using an AML LED screen, Dark Mode can really help save power. It's perfect for reducing the strain caused by the Now Bar and the new icons in One UI 7. To turn it on, go to Settings, Display, Dark. 5. Disable Always On Display. The Always On Display, AOD, feature can drain your battery, especially with all the new lock screen features in One UI 7. Turn it off or schedule it for when you're not using your phone. To disable, go to Settings, Lock Screen, Always On Display. 6. Clear One UI Home Cache. Corrupted cache data from One UI 7 can also cause excessive battery drain. To clear it, go to Settings, Apps, One UI Home, Storage, Clear Cache. After that, restart your phone to optimize performance. So those are some simple tweaks you can try to save battery on your One UI 7 device. It's frustrating that these steps can make a noticeable difference until Samsung pushes out a fix, which is expected in May 2025. Have you experienced any battery issues with One UI 7? Let me know in the comments.